Comic Relief aims to reach every part of the UK with its work. Often the charities they support have started with a vision of one person, like Jessie from Stockton on Tees. Growing up in Stockton, I was quite bored. I began to kind of take risks with my life, really. I actually ended up getting involved with a guy who was a, a drug user. The relationship just began to kind of destroy my own self-esteem. So I found myself, um, you know, I'd compare myself to, um, you know, a, a bag of heroin and be like, this guy's choosing heroin over me and not really realising how powerful the addiction was. I got to a point where I actually turned to prayer and I started to kind of pray that I'd find a way out of this situation. Jessie did find a way out. She renewed her Christian faith and went to university. Returning to Stockton, she became acutely aware of the difference between the lives of teenagers in church and teenagers on the street. I was just broken hearted. How can it be that two groups of young people can be living such dramatically different lives in the same town within a mile of each other? And so a way out was born with the aim of rescuing young women from exploitation. <laughs> Comic Relief funded their first worker. Ten years later, they've helped around 5,000 women. Before I went here, I used to be an alcoholic, and they've really, really changed my life. They've changed me, and they've changed everything that I used to do. I was in a domestic violence relationship. I got away from my ex with the help, and I got my baby back, and they've helped me through everything. Some people think that these women have chosen to be on those streets, but I know that women feel like they're being abused every time they go out there and they want it to stop. You know, it's amazing that organisations like Comet Relief get behind projects like A Way Out um, because that's God's heart actually. And for me, that's what Jesus was, everything he demonstrated, what he came to do on earth was to demonstrate love and he went to the ones who were the most marginalised and the most broken. You knew me at the start You know me at the end Dreams and reality and everything in between Jesus loves me This I know for sure Oh, how He loves me This I know for sure This is the life you made And journeyed with all the way Dreams and reality Everything in between Jesus loves me This I know for sure Oh, how He loves me This I know for sure Oh, how He loves me This I know for Lord, thank you for the way you love each and every one of us equally, regardless of our circumstances. For giving everyone the gift of joy and laughter, 
Lord, we thank you. Help us to learn from Christ's example, serving others, each in our own way. And thank you for the work of Comic Relief, bringing hope and healing at home and abroad. Amen. And that's almost it for this week. And they're almost done with the Hymnathon. Haven't they done well? They've done beautifully. Do log on to our website and have a go yourself. It's for a great cause, okay? And Comic Relief in 12 days' time promises to be bigger and better than ever before. He's involved in it, that's why. Time for our final hymn. So it's a goodbye from Tim Vine. And it's goodbye from Pam Rose. here to celebrate Mothering Sunday with some great hymns from the congregation at St Albans Church in Bristol and some inspiring stories of motherhood, past and present, plus special guests, the military wives. It's late spring in the Antarctic and we're getting a chick's eye view of the penguins with the last in the series here on BBC One next. <laughs>